Yo, hello and welcome to another video and today I want to show you my first impressions of the PTR for Season 28 in Diablo 3. Season 28 has started, at least here on the PTR. Um, the difference is that when you level a character you don't have a challenge rift cache, so it takes a little bit longer. I only played for a little bit here just to check out the new season theme, which from the patch notes and from my last one of my last videos looked pretty promising and uh, I would say let's jump right into it. So let's start the game here. It's on Torment 1, it doesn't really matter. So let's see if we can find the new season theme. Yeah, I was looking around in the different um, acts. Yeah, let's let's start around here in Act 5. Um, it should be somewhere, right? But here you don't see anything, yeah? No yellow thing or whatever that indicates that we have that new thing here. Yeah, we don't have it in Act 4 or Act 3. Nothing, yeah? You check the map, nothing here. And I can tell you there's also nothing in Act 2. So that leaves only Act 1 for us, at least at the moment. And if we go to Act 1, if we press this, there's also nothing. This is surprising. Um, hmm, probably it is also in the other acts, but uh, if you go in Act 1 to uh, this location here, you find it. Now you see it also on the map. Uh, probably it changed. I don't know. We just didn't saw it, but uh, we just didn't see it, but right now we see it. And if you click this thing, you see I have already skilled two nodes here. The first one, Gateway, and the second one, Anointed. So now they also have names, which is pretty nice. Yeah, um, At least when you uncover them before they are sealed. Um, but after that, uh, they are uncovered. And um, you can use them basically with level one. Yeah. So the first node here, you see uh, the, the requirements. This is for the third one. So this requires a greater rift keystone, which means this is only obtainable with max level, with level 70. Um, but the first node costs like 10 uh, white materials, yeah, like this year, reusable parts, yeah, 10 of them, and you get them pretty fast, yeah, just do a bounty with a boss or whatever and loot a few items, like one, two white items, and it's GG. Uh, if not, then go to battlefields and uh, just loot um, the objects there. Um, and then you can use this, and then you get this bonus here, gateway. Your kill streak, timer duration, and reward bonus are doubled. So this is really nice for leveling, yeah. Your kill streak timer gets longer, yeah. So you have more time to keep it up, which is a really good change for leveling, yeah. For also for normal rifts, yeah. The bonus is uh, improved. So I can see that tier 16 rifts will be viable for a very long time, way beyond Paragon 1000 or whatever. Yeah? Usually now you, you are done with farming normal rifts and bounties after like, I don't know, 800, 600 Paragon and then you don't want to see that stuff again. But here, with the bonus doubled and the basically the XP you gain from, from a killing streak improved, uh, I can see this being viable again. Remember, this works not in greater rifts. Yeah? The kill streak is only uh, viable in the normal world, basically, in, a, in adventure mode and also in the uh, campaign mode basically but uh yeah not in in greater rifts or in uh set dungeons or whatever so for the second one um this costs a little bit more materials i have to check out uh, i have it recorded uh, i will probably show you this this one when i when i skill it um it costs a few blue and a few uh uh, I mean, it costs a few reusable parts, a few arcanders, and a few whale crystal. But what you need for the second one doesn't matter if you go this route or this path. You need a diamond, and uh, <laughs> I uh, messed around and I didn't read. Um, I uh, upgraded my amethyst and sold the diamonds that I have enough gold to upgrade it. So you need basically your jewel crafter. Yeah, he has to be on level two at least. So you have to upgrade him. It's not that expensive, but you want to upgrade him that you can do this. And then, um, yeah, you can basically uh, get the, the flawless diamond and skill the second point. And what I have chosen here is not the left one. Yeah, The left one is pools of reflection last for the entire season and are not removed by death. The thing is why I haven't picked this up is because in the beginning the pools are not that uh, great. Yeah, it only gives like a few percent more experience, but it's not that 
that good compared to what else you can get. And the other option is anointed items have no level requirement. Yeah, keep this in mind. You can upgrade your blacksmith and you can craft a higher level version of a weapon, the highest available you can craft, and you can immediately equip it. Yeah. And the only thing you want when your level is a really, really strong weapon because it reduces the time you need to level up by a significant amount. Yeah. And then you see the next thing, the next offering here, yeah, the next sacrifice costs a greater of key. So if you choose the pools, you can't choose this one anymore unless you hit level 70. So uh, this will take a long time, yeah, and you will regret if you if you don't pick this up first. And during a season start, if you decide to use your challenge rift cash, which uh, is another point, uh, yeah, at one point you have to uh, sacrifice a challenge rift cash as well to get further here. But it really depends if you play a lot, yeah, then it might be worth it to save it. But if you don't play as much, and I think most players are um, playing this game just for fun, and uh, you know, don't don't spend like twenty four hours or forty eight hours in the beginning of a season just to get as fast as possible or as far as high as possible uh, then you can use your challenge rift cache you can uh, craft an ancient item level 70 and you can immediately use it once you have this this is on level 20 imagine how fast leveling is then yeah so i will probably uh, use this challenge rift cache and uh Will not save it for for leveling because this is way too crazy and way too uh uh, yeah, it's it's way too good, you know, and um, I want to play hardcore. So here being safe in the beginning is, is better than uh, yeah, having the option to be faster in the long run. But after a week, you get another challenge of cash and you can get further here down the down the line. So, uh, yeah, of course, if you if if the season start is really uh, important for you and you put everything you have in the first week or so or in the first weekend, then you probably want to save it. And even then, it, 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 it is a hard uh, uh, thing to decide probably for the future. But for now, you know at least um, where to find this thing. And also, um, we can skill everything. Yeah, So it's not like um, you have to reskill or something. Yeah, you, you just skill everything. And I think you have to skill everything to reach the last point here, which is basically that uh, primals drop a second time. Yeah, Like when a primal drops, a random primal can drop again. So this is basically insane, yeah. But we have a lot of nodes, and this should be account wide. We can test it out now. I can make another character and um, check it out, yeah. If it is account wide, let's see. So switch hero, make a new character here. Let's say a barbarian. There we go. We can even check if it's in hardcore, but I don't think it will be av av available in hardcore. Let's check it out now for for normal because hardcore and normal are two different game modes but uh so you have to do everything again like also leveling up your your craft craftman dudes like you know what i mean so this is handled by they are separated yeah they are separated so let's see we we walk here again and let's see if we have this the same the same thing yep so we could now basically equip a weapon that is, I don't know, level level 70. Yeah, we could equip ancients and so on. We could equip everything so we don't have to use for leveling. This is also good for hardcore. Yeah, if you decide to play hardcore, this is also the best note. Um, yeah, to, to if you do a mistake, you know, you can just equip the gear you have on the bank and you're fully geared with level 70 ancients already. So leveling will be insanely fast once you have established your character and have some items on the bank. So this is insanely good. This this improves hardcore by a lot. And I hope that this kind of thing stays in the game because yeah, probably with some some uh, some uh, reduced uh, quality or whatever. But after season twenty eight ended, but this is something this is nice to keep players interested and to have something beyond the season journey that improves the uh, the strengths of your characters and um like no matter what what spec you play yeah it is you can still play what is fun for you and you have a goal to play until you reach this point here yeah? and after that probably um yeah you don't have much to do anymore yeah except for example farming paragon and pushing greater rifts but um yeah this this will take some time here to fill out 
probably one to two weeks at least yeah probably even three weeks or four weeks we don't know yet we will see um but uh yeah it really depends a little bit at least two weeks if you decide to sacrifice your uh if you if you decide not to sacrifice your challenge rift cash if that makes sense so yeah i hope you enjoyed this one and um if you have any questions or have anything to add let me know in the comments i read everything and besides that see you next time bye bye